two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. A short kick taken at the 18. And they'll get him down inside the 30 up to 27. Beginning on the ground with Patterson. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Michael Vick. He's got his man, it's White. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there, 18 yards. First down, Falcons. This is Eric Dickerson, four-time rushing champ. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Vic on third and two. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut. He'll take care of the end of this drive. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On second down, a run with Patterson. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. On third down, Vic out of the gun. And this one dropped in the end zone. Uh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. Koo knocks this one through the post. And the Falcons are out to a 3 0 advantage. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Aku just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. He's got room past the 30. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. Back to throw now on first down. That's complete once again. It's Gesicki. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, Charles, look, and this is probably a harbinger of things to come. He's got such trust in his tight end, and they're on back-to-back -back plays. We're seeing that on display. And when they have that kind of trust, they're not as worried about what the coverage is because they feel like they know each other so well. They'll make the subtle move downfield, and the ball will end up in the right spot. And by the way, Farmer, what's Harbinger mean? Help me out. Well, you're the one that taught me that a few years ago, so I'll have to lean on you for that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just hoping it fit into the sentence correctly. I must have got it from my Word of the Day calendar on my desk. Come on, come on. Second down and eight. <laughs> They'll set up to throw. Open man, it's the longtime Dolphin Mark Clayton. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. First target, first catch, and a first down. A give to the fullback on the dive. And they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Culpepper. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Brandon Marshall. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Well, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Looking there for pitch, but intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. Ha, ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. On second down, Culpepper. He'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. Sanders now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Morning. 
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This will be fielded inside the five. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here. A long way to go. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And now the box deciding to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. The 20. Five, and it's a pick six. He brings it.